One, um, now ladies and gentlemen, this example, what we have is, um, now what we're doing is again, we look at this and we're multiplying. So again, we can apply just like what we looked at on the last problem, but the difference with this one is now we have terms that are separated by addition or subtraction. So again, the common mistake, Tiffany, that I do not want any students to make is to look at this and say, oh, well, let me just divide these x's. No, we cannot divide across addition and subtraction. When we have everything separated by addition or, or multiplication and division, then we can divide across, right? But when we're separated by addition or subtraction, we cannot do that. So the technique that we use, think about whenever you guys see addition or subtraction, you're going to want to look to factoring. So in this case, I can factor out a 3. So I factor out a 3, I'm left with x squared minus 4. Now I will, want you, I will like, like you guys to notice that here, when I have x squared minus 4, I can factor that further, because that's a difference of two squares. So that becomes x minus 2 times x plus 2. Okay, So I'm actually going to write that in there. Instead of x squared minus 4, I'm going to write this as x minus 2 times x plus 2. Here, I'm going to factor out a 5, x minus 2, times 1 over. Here, I can factor out a 2, which would be 2 times x plus 2. Does everybody see how I factored, including Tyler? Yes, questions. But factoring, you're just factoring on what your common terms are. What do they share? OK, these both share a 5. So I divided out a 5. I left with x minus 2. Yes, Amy? I'll say, I'll write, I'll give you something that you can take home. Um, so now the next step is we now, I want you, what I want you guys to do is by factoring, I want you guys to understand that now I have expressions that are separated by multiplication. Do you guys see that? So by factoring, what factoring allows us to do is to separate things by multiplication. Now that things are separated by multiplication, I can divide across multiplication, where you can't divide. You can't say like 12 divided by 4 because you're going across addition and subtraction. But now my expressions are separated by multiplication. I can now apply that. So now, by applying my division property, which these divide to 1, I'm left with 3 over 5, where x cannot equal 2 and negative 2. Yes, where's 1f? 5 times 2 is 10. Thank you. I missed that. I thought it was crossed out. And make sure you also check in your constraints where it can equal 2 and negative 2, because that's what make a 0. Yes, Tiffany? OK, that's not a question on that problem, but I can answer that in a second. Yes? Question, anything else on this? Okay.